morning, my friends. Today is Friday, May 17th. It's Friday of the seventh week of Easter. Remember, we have our uh, Catholic sports camps this summer, catholicsportscamps.org, and our Corpus Christi procession, Mass and proce procession on May 30th, starting here at St. Isaac Jogues, finishing at Notre Dame Parish. As we look at the readings today, what would make Peter and Paul be willing to give their lives for Christ. They could have probably lived comfortable lives, safe lives, much like we, we seek after today. But when they allowed the Holy Spirit to take over, as scripture says, the wind blows where it wills, they were willing to give everything for him. And the question is, are we living those comfortable lives, the safe lives, and I'm not saying comfortable and safe is not a good thing, but um, you know we were made not for comfort, but for greatness and greatness in Christ. And so as we approach Pentecost Sunday, I want us to pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit may transform us in ways that we never thought possible. It's, it's, we always joked in seminary and still to this day, you know, when you make Jesus the center of your life and you let the Holy Spirit take control, Buckle your seatbelts because it's quite a ride. So we look at the first reading from the Acts of the Apostles about St. Paul. So we have King Agrippa. Uh, uh, Paul is in prison in Caesarea. And uh, it, if you've ever been to the Holy Land, it's Caesarea Maritima or Maritime. It's near the water. You see this beautiful palace that Herod built. And you see a place where they, they believe that St. Paul was held prisoner. Felix, uh, the governor, had handed this off to Festus, uh, who replaced him. And they're trying to figure out what to do with Paul because they couldn't find anything to charge him with. The, the Jewish leaders were, were, you know, saying, you know, he deserves imprisonment, he deserves death. But the, uh, the Roman leaders were saying that this is a matter of your religion. Uh, it has nothing to do with us. And so they said Paul had to be able to, to face his accusers. So his accusers stood around him, but did not charge him with any of the crimes I suspected. This is uh, Festus talking. Instead, they had some issues about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who had died, but who Paul claimed was alive. And that's the key. The resurrection is the fulcrum in, in which, you know, many lives, billions of lives have been changed. So Festus says, I was at a loss about what to do with the controversy. So I asked Paul if he was willing to go to Jerusalem and, uh, and Paul appealed to the emperor, Caesar. And so that's where we're at in the Acts of the Apostles now. Paul is willing to be, um, you know, imprisoned and eventually he will lose his life uh, in, in Rome when he goes to um, preach there. And then in the gospel, we know Peter's story, right? Beside a charcoal fire, he denies uh, that even knew Jesus outside the praetorium when Jesus was being uh, condemned. And now Jesus has died, risen. He's been appearing to his disciples. And now in John chapter 21, the last chapter of John, Jesus appears to them. They're out fishing again. Jesus makes a charcoal fire, probably to remind Peter, you remember you, you denied me three times by a charcoal fire. And the only, the only second charcoal fire is here. Jesus makes a fire on the, on the seashore. And again, this is another place that we visit in, in the Holy Land. God willing, we'll be able to go there again uh, one day. And so three times for, for Peter's denial, Jesus says, Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? Yes, Lord, you know that I love you three times. And so Jesus brings him back into the fold through, through mercy. He restores Peter. And then Peter goes on to become the first Pope, the first Papa, which means father, daddy, the leader of the church. And then Peter also will give his life uh, in what is now St. Peter's Square outside the Basilica of St. Peter. So these two men are kind of the, the key men outside the Basilica of St. Peter's in, uh, in the Vatican City. There's, there's Peter and Paul, these two great apologists, two great evangelists who gave their lives for Christ they allowed the Holy Spirit to completely transform their lives. Have we allowed that spirit in? Or are we gonna live safe and comfortable lives our whole lives without letting the spirit uh, take us 
where he wills. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We ask for a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Transform our lives. Give us the freedom and the courage to follow you wherever you lead us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. To into your families, buen camino. Please pray for me as I promise to pray for you. God bless you.